All right. Been working on the bumper for my swept line today, getting that cleaned up, welded, and ready for paint. When I got a package in the mail, I got a low car throttle cable. The reason I got a throttle cable is for this guy. Driving this to work the other day, and my throttle cable broke. So, on the short, you know, quick decision, tied a rope to the injection linkage and ran that through the firewall. And of course, finished driving it to work with my now hand controlled Cummins. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get that installed today. So, turns out that the throttle cable on my Cummins is a two or three or two and a half year, something like that. Uh, year range throttle cable only and is not reproduced and is no longer available from the dealer so thus i went ahead and bought a low car throttle cable which is a little bit different i ended up buying a 24 inch which i think is a little long and i can either make it work or cut it down but the only thing i can find is the end for their throttle cables or throttle brackets so i think i'm gonna have to modify my throttle to make this work but i don't think it should be too hard otherwise it just clamps through the firewall and then clamps into the bracket for the cummins itself and then it's got the same ball mount that should go right onto the injection pump so let's see if it's hopefully that easy all right let's see if we can get in here and look at this I initially thought i was gonna have to actually remove my throttle cable or throttle bracket i'm sorry and cut it and re-weld it but it actually looks like the bracket itself is already twisted and it looks like i've got enough room and clearance to where i can heat this up in here and just straighten it and it'll be ready for the new throttle cable so let's see if we can make that happen 